Okay. Now, flooding is really important, people, because in flooding, you know, the bu- as as、um, Dan Siegel has talked about, people flip their lid. I love that metaphor. It's absolutely perfect. When people flip their lid, as Dan says, people can't think. They feel attacked. They hear attacked. Their partner may be saying, "Want to go out to dinner?" They feel attacked. They see attack, and they respond with fight or flight. They either get very angry, aggressive, attacking, or they completely shut down. We found in the research that 80% of our stonewallers who shut down were men, not because. Men are better or worse or anything else, but because men, through evolution, have been trained to be vigilant. They're vigilant, right? They're looking for that saber-toothed tiger. They're protecting their family. Well, the wife has now become the saber-toothed tiger. So, so they get flooded, and it's hard to calm down. It's hard to calm down. So the only way to calm down, we have to have our partners in front of us do that. Is they have to take a break. The break has to be for 20 to 30 minutes at least, and they do not think about the fight. They don't think about what they could say better, because as long as they keep thinking about it, they're going to stay escalated. Before they separate for their break, they have to tell the partner when they're coming back, so the partner doesn't feel abandoned. Then they can go and do something self-soothing, meditate, like John Kabat-Zinn talked about yesterday, or read a book, read a magazine. Don't read a mystery novel with murder in it. <laughs> no, maybe watch TV. But not the wire. So, you know, there's ways of self-soothing: doing yoga, going for a run, and so on. Self-soothing, taking their mind off it. When they come back, they're new people. It's a totally new conversation. That is what people need to do when they get flooded. So that's the antidote to flooding.